In today's technical corner, we're going to find out about different materials for 3D printing. Danny, Montforge often talk about some of the plastic materials being stronger than aluminium. Is this correct? Yeah, technically we're talking composites. So what I mean by that is we have a polymer that's going to hold a continuous fibre in form. So the reason they are stronger than aluminium in certain directions is this unidirectional carbon fibre, Kevlar, fibreglass or some variants on it that we inlay into our polymer. Now talking about polymers as well, the black polymer you see here is onyx which is a nylon with a chopped carbon fiber content already in it. So it's already the strongest printed plastic on the market, but then we just basically put it on steroids by putting fiber within that. Okay, and it's literally, you couldn't break that? No, nope. I mean, this has got carbon fiber running through it just a little bit, it's far from solid, have a go. Oh, I can't, it doesn't even flex, no, does it? it doesn't, doesn't want to budge. We've got a nice little mini one for you to have a go with as well. A little bit of carbon fibre, there's about two rings in there. See how strong you're feeling. Sorry, I haven't, I haven't had breakfast. <laughs> no, I can't even break that one. No, it gives you a, an idea for the strengths we can achieve. And that really comes down to the flexibility of how we can lay our fibre in apart. So if we were talking of a traditional carbon fibre part, like a wet layup or a pre-preg, basically it would be a solid weave, solid carbon fiber weave. But what we have the ability to do is just regionally put fiber where it at the point of need, shall we say. So we could just reinforce one hole with a few concentric rings, or we could put an isotropic sheet down and every layer alternate the angle we're weaving at to build and reinforce against these different forces. Mm -hmm. I'll stop you there. It, on this screen here, that, that combine harvester being picked up by plastic rings essentially or hooks? Essentially, again we've got uh, HSHT, this is a tempered fiberglass, HSHT meaning high temp, high strength. Mm -hmm. So this is printed on a desktop printer like the one behind you, just a small chain link there. Wow. That weighs just short of uh, 17 tonnes, obviously a live load, we're not going far off the floor there just, uh, just in case. but really is that strong. We do have some customers lifting things like uh, industrial diesel pistons weighing a few hundred kilos with CE certified lifting jigs made on this technology. Wow, that's incredible. So just talk us through the materials available for Mark Forge technology at this moment in time. Okay, so if we're talking at the base level, when we're talking the black polymer, this is onyx, which has got the ability to be nice and flexible, all the properties of and nylon. That's the same material. Exactly incredible. the same material, just with no fiber in there. Now that's a, a nylon base with a chopped carbon fibre, we have a straight nylon and then going beyond that we have the ability to, shall we say on the industrial printer, have more, open up more applications. So we've got a flame retardant version of Onyx, which is aerospace approved, flame retardant version of the carbon fibre and also an ESD safe. So if you're going to be in PCB assembly for example and you needed it to be static safe, Going beyond that, we then have four fibres we can reinforce with. So carbon fibre being the most widely adopted, phenomenally rigid, phenomenally lightweight, uh, you know, everybody knows it's a buzzword. It, motorsport won't look at anything else. We have Kevlar, awesome impact resistance, abrasion resistance, those kind of applications, slightly different. Uh, and then some more cost effective fibres, fibreglass, two variants of it, of it, depending on the strength you require. Going beyond that, not on the same machines as you see here, but very similar technology. We have the ability to print in solid metal. So 17.4 pH stainless steel, tall steels, ink canals, and pure copper. Okay, and this, these are metal as well. That's been, that's been printed on one of your printers. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So basically end use special purpose tooling, milling, uh, milling tool in there with uh, PCD or polycrystalline diamond tips on there really opens up the uh, the ability to uh, that application's got uh, through tool coolant we've got um, all kinds of geometries that you couldn't you couldn't ma manufacture mm. subtractively so are we saying it, it, it at this moment in time it's practical to stop to stop a machine in aluminium and make things out of plastic potentially are, yeah. are we here now is that what we're a, a fraction of the cost so if if you are a jobbing shop, a CNC workshop, machine in aluminium, there's a chance we've got some applications that we could manufacture components at a fraction of the time and cost. Incredible. Thanks for your time, Danny. Thank you for watching at home, and I'm going to keep trying to break this. No, not going to happen.